So in this video, I'm going to be using this USB-C to SD card reader by KiwiBird and plugging it into my iPad Pro in order for me to be able to preview some video and picture files that I have got on SD cards. Now, just before I go any further, this was sent to me for free in exchange for a review and no money has changed hands. So what we can see here is the box that it comes in, which is just a nice, simple card box with no plastic on it also we have got this little thank you card which has also got contact information on it and then we have the actual USB-C to SD card reader as well and taking a quick look at this USB-C to SD card reader on one end here we have got a USB-C connection and then on the other end here, we have got a full-size SD card slot. And this will basically accept most types of full-size SD cards. And it has a maximum read speed of 60 megabytes per second. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to insert this 128 gigabyte SD card into the card reader itself here. So let me just pop that in. And it's also worth noting here that this particular card has come out of one of my Sony video cameras and this does have picture and video files on it. And the next thing that I'm going to do is to plug the USB-C end of the SD card reader into the USB-C port on this iPad Pro M1. And now that the card reader is connected to my iPad with the SD card in it, what I'm going to do is go to the file app here. So launching the file app on the left hand side here, we can see all the destinations where the file app can actually see and read files from. As we can see, I've got something here that says SD card one. That just happens to be the name of that particular SD card. Any SD cards that you put in will come up with their own name. So what I'm gonna do is just tap on that. Now, as you can see here, I've got two folders and a file. Now, anybody who is familiar with Sony camcorders will know that that DSIM folder and the private folder there are basically the way that Sony SD cards are organized for their files. So what I'm going to do now is just tap on the DSIM folder, go into here, and as we can see, there are a number of pictures on there. So what I can do is just preview straight away from the SD card and then if I just kind of scroll through here, I can kind of go through all the pictures that are in that folder and just kind of like, you know, at my own leisure, as it were, see what it is that I've been filming and taking pictures from for my Sony camcorder. Now what I'm going to do is just click done here. You'll have to excuse me, I can't see the screen properly because the camera's in my way. So I'll come back again here to, in fact, let me just go straight back to SD card. Now what I'm going to do is go into the private folder here I will go into M4 root and go into clip. Once again, anybody who is familiar with Sony camcorders will know what this file architecture is here. Now what's gonna happen here, this is gonna show me all the files that are on the actual card. Now interestingly, these files are in 4K and they are 100 megabits per second. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly play through one of these files. Now these are quite rough because these files are like what I use for like building my videos from, but nonetheless, as you should see there, this oh, file will start playing. Ben, I think this case is actually really good. It looks very robust. It's not some kind of fingerprint magnet, and it does give the phone a lot. Okay, as we could hear there, that file was playing. Unfortunately, there wasn't so much movement in it. Let me just go to a different file here, which should have some movement in it, and play that. Okay, so there we go. There's some movement there, and there should be some dialogue and in this. There we go. Hold on. Capacitive types. This also does seem to work really well. So, as a little extra. Okay, level. just give us a second. Sorry, I know this may seem a bit random, but I'm trying to play these files while concentrating on recording them as well. But as we could see there, let me just do done. In fact, I'll go back one here and I'll come back to the root of the card. So as we could see there, it was playing the pictures and also those 100 megabits per second 4K files with great ease. So no problems there. And then just finally, I have one file here as well. And this is actually a MOV file. And this is a H.265 file, which has got a fairly high bit rate on it. This is one of my video masters. So what I'm gonna do is just get into this and play this for a bit hold on 
Okay, so what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you what I'm going to be calling my forever case for my Flip 4. And by forever case, I just mean the case that I'm Okay, going to so that'll give us enough there. And what we can do is just scroll through the file as well if we want to and then catch up later into the file. There goes the third one. And there is the fourth one. And then once again, just slide the bottom end. Okay, of the frame. let me just pause that. And once again, let me just come back to the root here. So as we could see there, the card reader had absolutely no problems reading the data off that SD card. And I must stress again, these are like really high bitrate 4K files here. So what we can actually do is use this particular card reader for basically previewing stuff from Sony camcorders directly onto an iPad. Now, of course, you can copy and paste and move files around and stuff like that. I won't be going that into this video and the reason why is because I just wanted to show something that was going to give people like you know easy access to files to preview on their iPad Pro. Anyways that should just about do it for this video and hopefully you have found it informative and it's shown you a pretty good way and also a really cheap way of being able to like access your SD card files on your iPad while you're out and about just so that you can preview stuff and things like that. There will of course be links in the video description below taking you to Amazon to where you can get all of the stuff that I've used in this video and if you did like the video and found it helpful in any way please do give it a thumbs up it really does help the channel and do consider subscribing to my channel and getting all over that bell notification icon as I will be doing a lot more videos with Apple products and iPads in the near future. I'm David Harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now.